Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be playing that Heavy Rain part six, I believe. I wanna give a quick shout out to Yeet, Keith, and Sup guys. Hope you're having an amazing day and let's get it started. So we we ended right here in the golf course thingy, whatever this place is called. It may be a little out of zone. A little bit, a lot, to be honest. I just finished playing The Walking Dead on part six, seven, and I just got fucked, bro. Nice shot. Mentally, I haven't finished the game. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you pay for a coffee? Oh no, thanks. Do you play? Hell yeah, I, I do. Once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. <laughs> it's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? I hate no balls. No danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club. I hit a few balls. Put some balls in holes. When we come to this place, we put balls in holes, or balls are in that basket. The furthest. You can go. I don't. I don't really know. You know. Is it like the furthest you can go, or you gotta aim into the hole? The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. Okay. Hell, it's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. <laughs> Who made a hundred, bro? Show his eyes done. I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. Can I try to strike this shit as hard as I can? Oh shit, did it a little too hard I guess. There we go. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. Hmm. That's facts. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. Hmm. That may be a little facts right there. I am an so man, ass. And I pay very well for loyalty. Are you trying to buy me? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? Five hundred thousand dollars? I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. <laughs> don't go near my son, Mr. Shelby. If you do, you'll regret it. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. Ooh, gangster. Yeah, <laughs> hope we just came from eating a Big Mac, bro. You can tell he doesn't give a fuck. And who the fuck can be this origami killer? It could be this man's son or the father. Like, who the fuck knows? Okay, we're back to the father. 
kind of thick. Seven forty-seven a.m. with three inches of rain. That's crazy. And it stops raining in this bitch. Last episode, I really fucked up really bad. I would try to redeem myself in this part. Like I literally, oh shit! What the fuck y'all cooking? What are these little things here? Porcelain lizards? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat up stuff. Hold it. I think we can shake them, right? Don't hear anything. Bro, let me take the charger off. Pointless. There's been a fire in here. Everything is all burned up. Okay, I hear something. There's a key. Nice. We may not need to break all of these then. What we needed with this one, right? the hell is this? A little room, bro? It's a little tablet from back in the days. Maybe we gotta check it out. Seems just press on it. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. What? If you succeed, you will get your reward. Ooh. Oh fuck no. We got five minutes. Shit. We need to find alcohol and shit, bro. Just to put some off there. I ain't doing that shit, bro. Oh, fuck it. It's for our son, right? Might as well. Last time I fucked up. This time I won't. Well, I think we can pick, like, one thing at a time. Hell no. Nah. Cutting my finger with a scissor, bro? You have four minutes and thirty seconds left. Shit. How should I cut this finger then? This is kinda fucked. There's a knife here. Which one can be the pain, the most painless one? None. I need something. F oh shit! What a finger though. Damn, bro. That is so fucked. How the hell you break a finger? You have four minutes left. Is there anything here? Oh, that looks so fucking painful too.
What is this? A shank? Fuck it, let's just. Uh, I don't know. I'm, uh, shit. What am I going for? Take a sip first. You know what I'm saying? Get in the vibe. To cutting the finger out, bro. Sheesh. I think I'm going for this one, bro. Fuck. I don't want to watch this. Fuck this. Fuck it. I ain't doing this shit. I got. Ah, oh, fuck. Yo. I think we're supposed to put that after. Try it, do it, do it. Oh shit! Have three minutes left. Fuck, fuck me, fuck me. I'm, my mind is already fucked up from Walking Dead, and now I gotta cut a finger, bro. This is a disaster. Ah. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh. 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 Oh, fuck. I'm not doing that shit again. Yo. Oh. Breathe, bro. We still had two minutes, bro. No, bro. This is not it, bro. Yo, know, this shit was under the desk. All we had to do was look. I bet his fingers are burning like shit. Oh, he's close to fucking dying, bro. Shit. You think we're gonna make it to the sun, bro? This to find your son, bro. Cut a finger, though. Cut a fucking. What do y'all guys do that for your son? Cut your fucking finger, bro. Drive, driving the wrong side of the road, go through electricity, crawl through glass. That's be fucking kidding me. Position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal. Is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. 
I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. That guy doesn't believe that, that Ethan is the killer. Trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Want to get her out? No, stand down. Hmm. She got a fat booty. The cops don't know me. I could just walk into the building without being noticed. She's going inside. Maybe she lives there. Well, it's just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police, they're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. What's he up to in there? Wait for a go on my word. Okay, this is getting really interesting. How the hell are you gonna get out of this one? Cops everywhere, bro. Good thing this sweetheart is smart and is really trying to help us out. I really want to play soccer tomorrow. Yeah. Football. Because I'm a footballer. Know what I mean? Fuck. Hey, when I do this controller shit, like, I gotta go up. Mm. Shit. It's too high. We did that for no reason. Oh, never mind. We can get on top of this one. Ready on my go. Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Two men at the door. Hold your positions. It's a go. Shit, we don't have much time. Come on, let's go this way. Come on. <laughs> Shit. Hey, you don't move. I'll shoot. Come on. Quick. I can't. Hands in the air. Lieutenant, there's a man and a woman exiting the alley. A woman? Shit! It's that girl who went in! Everybody downstairs! They're in the alley! Follow them! The subway. Holy shit. We're gonna get killed, bro. Damn. I'm not sleepy at all. I've been playing The Last of Us, Walking Dead. Now, Happy Rain for a full hour? Let's just build different, bro. I mean, it's a Saturday, bro. Tomorrow. Oh, it's Saturday already, bro. It's like 3.48 in the morning, bro. Ethan just can't walk through crowds, bro. Same like me. I can't be in crowds like this, bro. I don't know why, bro. That's why I'm, I really don't like fucking around. I mean, I, I really don't like going out, bro. I don't like places that get so crowded like this, bro. 
I feel like punching everyone in the way, bro. You know what I mean? Oh shit, we just got caught. Holy shit, what this supposed to happen? Holy shit. Damn. Ah oh, shit. We're going to jail. Supposedly they think I'm the gar origami killer. We still don't. I still don't know that, bro. But it's weird how he be getting blackouts, and then when he wakes up, he has a origami in his hand. Like that doesn't make any sense. And he has dreams of people drowning. Like he might be the origami killer, to be honest. It's crazy. I'm not here to judge you, Ethan. I'm trying to save the life of your son. We still have time, but it's running out. Help me, Ethan. Tell me what you know. Ethan, I'm trying to help you. I just want to understand what happened. But you have to trust me. Last, Ethan. What will you gain with one more victim? Huh? Damn. Didn't work. Desperate. Ethan, say something for God's sake! Down. That ain't work either. I kidnapped my son. But I can't remember what happened. I don't know where he is. The only way to find him is to let me out of here. I'm the only person who can save him. Damn, he just confirmed it. That's just crazy talk, Ethan. It doesn't make any sense. How can I believe anything you say? I love my son. I love my son. If you keep me here, Sean is going to die. That's facts. Time's running out, Ethan. And frankly, I don't care why you did it. The only thing I want to know is where you've hidden Sean. I don't know. I would already have saved him if I knew where he was. Okay. This is your last chance, Ethan. And this time, I suggest you think carefully before you answer. Where is Sean? Where's Sean Doe? I told you, I don't know. Ah! Wrong. Bro, chill out. Come on, asshole. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Come on, come on there, pussy. Let's see what you got. Did you just call me? You know what you just did to me, bro? Fuck off, bitch. Don't fuck around like that. You wanna play games, asshole? Come on, let's play a little game. You're out of your mind, Blake. This is gonna cost you your badge. You better get the hell out of here, Norman, before I give in to the temptation of painting the walls with your fucking brains. Shit, this guy's gonna kill him, bro. I was gone too far this time.
That bastard is gonna beat a confession out of Mars. He just wants a culprit, even if it's the wrong guy. That is not the way it's gonna go. I'm gonna tell the whole story to Captain Perry. Okay, where's Captain Perry, bro? This guy's gonna die, bro. Captain Perry? Blake is trying to beat a confession out of Ethan Mars. You've got to do something! Which is more important, Norman? Finding little Sean Mars or sparing that lowlife a few bruises? You can't make omelets without breaking a few eggs. God damn! Ethan Mars is innocent! We've got to get back to looking for Sean if we're to have any chance of finding him alive! It's facts. This case has worn you out, Norman. You need some time off to think it through. Okay, nobody gonna do about it? Shit, Ethan is just gonna get fucked more. Take... Chippo. Don't take it. Don't take it, bro. Shit, I... Why didn't I? Down. Now I'm playing the piano. Okay, you can't hear the music because of the copyrighted shit. I think he's just playing a big Tobin song or something like that. I could just do it playing. It sounds just like that, I think. I, I don't hear the music either. Bro, what the fuck? Bro, I hope you enjoyed this game, bro, as much as I do, though. This is crazy, mate. I can't even hear the footsteps. Everything is just... Your vodka, sir. Vodka? Thanks. Bro, go bring me the bottle, bro. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Something like Blake that. Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. That's facts. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Ooh. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Damn. If this sickness that you gotta drink this blue potion. Triptotipa, I don't know what it's called. But it ends killing you if you do it often. Really, really often. It's like an addiction. Let's look at the files. Okay, origami killer victims. It's open. Okay. Nothing really. 
No. Bro, I did not mean to do that, bro. Why does it do that? There we go. But we already did this. So it's just garbage. There's no clues and shit. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. Analyze. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park. When in the opposite direction at 1637, that could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? That could be the killer's car. It's really smart. Let's see. Not nice, the tires. Marks. Is there any. No? No data on that one. There may be data on the car, bro. Not gonna lie. At least, I don't know how nice this origami figure here. Is there like a origami shop or some shit like that? Ah, uh, pity we can't see the driver's face. Damn. Well, we can maybe check the map if there's like a car. No. Maybe this? No data either. Okay, what about this? Okay. There's flower shops everywhere then. I already we already knew that one. I haven't done this one. Right? Have I? Tire tracks. I already did this one. Basically we don't have no data at all. Check the map. Nothing. Killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geo profiling any easier. Guess that's all of the stuff we can check, right? Can we just leave now? We can't leave. Why, why can we not leave, bro? I already did all of them. There has to be something with this car. I believe so. The car was stolen. Let's see. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it. But the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. No data at all. 
Oh, we got some license here. Right there. Hold up, we gotta analyze first. What am I doing? No, oh, this is just an ID. Jackson Neville. Luciana. Jackson Neville, aka Neville. Mad Jack. Mad Jack. Involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. It's facts. That's pretty smart of him. Let's go take a look at this. Mad Jack. Motherfucker must be big, bro. In the picture. Lieutenant is out. Did Mars confess? No, not yet. He lost consciousness. We'll give him a break and then we'll get back to him. He must be tougher than I thought. Tough or not, he'll crack. They all do. In any case, congratulations, Lieutenant. You've done a fine job. I've called a press conference. Gonna kick off in one hour. I expect it'll be quite an event. Don't you want to wait until we actually got his confession? Leave us alone. I, uh, Lieutenant Blake said to... Please, leave us alone. Ooh. Right, uh, I'll be at the door if you need anything. <gasps> Christ, are you all right, Ethan? Shit. I gotta get out of here. I've gotta save my son. Let's see what I can do. <coughs> Gotta find some way to get rid of the guard if I want to free Mars. Should be able to get him out of here without being noticed. I'm gonna find a way to get you out of here, Ethan. Stay put. I'll be back. Okay, we gotta find the lock for the keys. There should be officers' raincoats all over the place. Gotta find one and give it to Mars. Mm, smart. Can we be in here? There's one there. Maybe the keys? I gotta find some way to get in through the police station undetected. Gary, you can take a break. I'll keep an eye on him. You sure? Actually, I was busting for a piss. <laughs> if you need to adjust his handcuffs, the keys are on my desk. First, get rid of the cuffs. Shit, what am I doing? Helping a suspect to escape? That'll cost me my badge and earn me a ten-year stretch. First, get rid of the cuffs. Where you said this is a table here, right? First, get rid of the cuffs. There's nothing in this goddamn table. Okay, let's just get the fuck out of here. Maybe find a different table. Ethan, put this on. You might be able to get by them without being noticed. Oh shit, the handcuffs. I forgot about that. Okay, hold tight. Oh shit. First, get rid of the cuffs. Where the hell could these... 
Hmm, sorry looking bad. It might be in this office here, bro. Maybe a door here. No. What table is he look talking about? Has to be in this one. <laughs> Bless me. First, get rid of the cuffs. We get it, bro, but where the fuck are these cuffs? Man. Okay. 100% they're not in there. We gotta look at some other table. I thought we had to get the coat and then maybe the thing. No, there's the key. Okay, buddy. Nobody saw that one. That's it. You're free. Here, put this on. They're having a break. If you're quick, you'll be able to slip out without being noticed. Head straight to the exit. Don't stop, don't talk, don't even think. Just walk. I don't know what to say. I... Just say you're gonna save your son. I hope I won't regret that. Okay. Nothing suspicious going on here. Right? Oh, down. He made it out. <laughs> That's lit. That was cool. Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan origami? Mars, father of the kidnapped victim, Sean Mars, is killer. on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. Oh, dang, dangerous as fuck. Way, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. Damn. I brought some food. Some trees and quackers. I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Why are you helping me, Madison? You know nothing about me. You could have been killed. I don't know. I guess it just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. You needed at help. The time. I you. That ass, though. You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Hell yeah. Are That's you the me. killer, Ethan? Hell yeah. Invade, break, confess. I don't even know. I, I sometimes have these blackouts, times where I don't know what I'm doing, as if I'm someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards is the bodies, the bodies in the water. No way. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I would love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. 
Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. Down. It's kind of fucked. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Damn. Leave me to do this on my own. hours of recording bro and just build different bro ain't nobody doing it like me no more oh got me I don't have much time I've got to find my son before it's too late Are you prepared to kill someone to save your son? Send a picture, get your reward. I'm about to shoot somebody. <laughs> I'm about to bust a cap on somebody. Don't fuck around with me. I'm gangster. This dude always has the cool missions like fighting people and shit. Matter oh, clock store? A typer. I would buy me one of those clocks, but them bitches are so annoying, bro. When I got babysitted, like once, bro, they had one of those fucking clocks and it was like four in the morning. Manfred! Anybody home? That was a whole fucking nightmare, bro. That was back when I was like three. Nothing much changed here. Just the dust and the clocks ticking on and on. Hey, gang. You good, homie? Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yeah, it's good. Yes, yeah, Scott. Well, That's me. Good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, many years. About ten years, I guess. Oh, at my age, time means nothing anymore. It's facts. I, I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. Well, how about you? Are you still with the police? Hell yeah. I'm a oh, quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a uh, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this this calls for a celebration. I've just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. A bottle of expensive scotch, mate. Yeah, yeah, mate. I'm gonna take the call. Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. 
Sure, got no you. problem. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. Nice to see Manfred again. Just like old times. He speaks his course, yeah. Well, to old friends. Cheers, mate. It's beautiful. It's a Stradelli. Crafted in Venice in the 18th century. Mm. It's one of my favorite pieces. Shoo! She kind of bad, though. Tell me, Scott. What brings you back after all these years? I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. No. no let's have a look. <laughs> Took a look, mate. Could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. For sure, mate. The eyes are beginning to fail me. Took a piss before I do that. Oh, never mind. They're over there now the desk tripping. There they are. Jay tripping with that one. Yes, yeah, sir. Thanks. Anytime, well, mate. Let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. Hmm. A royal five. Hmm. Oh, yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Hmm. Produced between 1907 and 1924. I remember those days. Good old days, yeah. I tell you. No doubt about it. It's a royal five. To have one of those roll fives back in the day. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or, or in their cellar. Are there many places around that could prepare one of these? I bought the company's entire stock as spare parts for a song in uh, 64. Well, they were going to take them to the dumpster, so I got the lot. <laughs> well, anybody around here who has one that actually works has been to see me at one time or another. Do mm. you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. At least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes and I'll be right back with the list. That's a good man right there. He kind of thick too. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. They really worked a lot in the eyes, bro. Especially in that girl eyes. 
Lauren thinks she's about to find the killer. I'm afraid she's going to be disappointed. Down. Been a while since Manfred went into his office. I should take a look. Facts. The killer's name might be in Manfred's papers. Been a while since Manfred went into his office. Hello? Manfred! Hello? Your call is locked, sir. What? A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? Shit. Are you okay, sir? Oh my god. He's dead. Oh. No way. How could he die? Poor old man. Scott? Oh my god. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be a scapegoat. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. You better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. What are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. We gotta get out of here fast. Damn. Gotta clean everything that we touch. Still holding that too. Okay, the cops could be here any second. Did we even touch the bottle? We gotta go. Quick. Gotta find everything Lauren and I touched since we came in here. Where did we leave Prince? Gotta remember. Fast. Don't forget to clean Lauren's print. God, are you gonna be much longer? The glasses. The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. We're running out of time. Gotta move faster. Okay, this is the last thing. Police will be here any second. Gotta get out now. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? Got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. She got some cowgirl boots. Oh shit! I forgot I went in that fucking shit. Damn it! We are down. So, you claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop. Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with his murder. We were only there by coincidence. 